Mr. B. <laughs> I have a really big word to share with you today. I like big words. I have a big word, too. Okay, what's your big word, Squeaky? Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Kenosis. <gasps> wow, that is a big word. What does it mean? I have no idea. What's your big word, Mr. B? Participate. What does it mean? When we participate, it means well, we do something together. Well, let's all participate in this next song. Let's all do the movements together. Come on, friends. Let's do something great. Let's do it together. Let's participate. It's great, great, great to participate. Stretch those arms way up high. Gonna reach way up and try to touch the sky. Use your imagination and grab a ball. Now stand on one foot and try not to fall. Grab that ball with both of your hands and stretch that ball like a rubber band. Come on, friends, let's do something great. Let's do it together, let's participate. It's great, great, great to participate. Now stand on the other foot and try not to fall. We're gonna have some fun with our imaginary ball. Let's bounce it on the floor. Bounce, 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 let's bounce it some more. Bounce, 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 throw it high. Into the sky, let's spin around. Don't let the ball hit the ground. Grab that ball with both of your hands and stretch that ball like a rubber band. Come on, friends, let's do something great. Let's do it together, let's participate. It's great, great, great to participate. Stand on both feet with your claws in the air. Now stomp in place like a big brown bear. Stomp, 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 stomp. Now grab that ball, hold it up in the air, and stomp in place again like a big brown bear. Stomp, 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 stomp. Now take the ball with both of your hands and stretch that ball like a rubber band. Stretch that ball like a rubber band. Stretch that ball like a rubber band. Good job, friends. We did something great. We did it together. Participate. It's great, great, great to participate. It's great, great, great to participate. Good job, good job. Joe, the word of the day is get. G E T. Get. I can get a balloon from Mr. B. Joe, hey Mr. B, can I get a balloon, Joe? My time. Joe, that's a double take. First, you have to trip. Whoa. Then look twice. Look where you tripped. Two times. Let's try a triple take. That's three times. Trip. One, two, three. Look three times. This one's really goofy. Try it again. Trip. Then look three times. Whoa, that's pretty goofy. Chaw. This is the alphabet song. It's not very long. Let's do R. R, 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 R. Rat. R, 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 R. Rhinoceros. R. R. 
I'm thinking of an animal. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. They sound like this. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that was a hard one. It's a sloth. Well, you probably know that sloths move very slowly. But here are a few fun facts that you probably don't know. There are two types of sloth. Two-toed sloth and three-toed sloth. Sloths spend most of their life hanging upside down. And sloths can hold their breath for 40 minutes. How long is this episode, Mr. B? Well, it's about 10 minutes. They could watch this whole episode four times and never have to take a breath. Just thinking about it makes me dizzy. Thanks for sharing, Bosco. You got it, Mr. B. Hello, friends. Well, today I'm here with my friend Terry and his dog, Berlin. Berlin is a German Shepherd and she's named after a city in Germany. Now, German Shepherds are a very intelligent breed of dogs. Well, they're intelligent, they're loyal, they're obedient, and German Shepherds are the kind of dog that are used in police canine units. Yeah, you're a good dog, Berlin. Now, friends, it's very important to remember that you should never run up to a dog and try to pet that dog. But you always want to ask the owner if it's okay for you to pet their dog. Well, because you don't know how well that dog is trained. Well, kind of like this. Well, Terry, is it okay if I pet your dog, Berlin? Yeah, thanks for asking. You can pet Berlin, no problem. Hi, Berlin. Yeah. Oh, you're such a good dog. Also, if the dog is coming up to you and there's no owner and you don't know what you should do, well, you should always turn your back and let the dog sniff you. Yeah, let the dog sniff you and that way you're not running up to the dog and you're not making the dog nervous. You never want to make a dog nervous because well, sometimes if dogs get nervous, they can bite you. That's never fun. You don't ever want to get bit by a dog. Here you go, Berlin. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Good, Berlin. Berlin does all kinds of tricks. She, she usually likes to get the newspaper in the morning, but we've already got the newspaper this morning. So let's see if we can get you to do your regular tricks. Hey, turn around. Sit. <laughs> Other foot, down, over. Okay. All right, Berlin. You ready to catch the ball? Let's play fetch. Go get it. Here at Mr. B's Seriously Fun Club, we take our fun and our reading seriously. Well, that's why I wrote Book Nook Brook. Well, this colorful story about the great importance of reading will bring life into your home or classroom. Book Nook Brook will rhyme its way into your heart and quickly become one of your child's favorites. Brilliantly illustrated, this book about reading books will capture the imagination and inspire your children to be like Brooke and read more books. Well, visit my website at 123mrb.com and get your copy now. Yeah, get your copy now. I like reading. <laughs>